Game time. Yard rusher a season ago, Antonio Gibson with it. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Now, this defense for the Eagles very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2 0 on the young season. Yeah, and what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells yeah, me that they open up very fast. And they're playing with extreme confidence. And they get it down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. A run here for the rookie. It's Brian Robinson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Oh! oh that's the big man get the oxygen tank ready. Really? He's into the end zone, and 
it's a fumble return and an eagle touchdown. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only a scoop, but then taking the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with hard. them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week, he's smiling. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Play action. It's Hal. Catching. I need mean, this one. Ah, to get my touchdown. Get my touchdown back. You don't mean it. Ah, come on. Give me a touchdown. Give me a touchdown. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now. First and 10. Hal to the air on Another first one. and 10. Ah, and he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The lies move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first What'd down. What'd you say? About three yards there to the 27. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Powell throwing on third down here. Ah. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Ah, oh, miss. Sly able to put this one through. Man, and they are that. on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. In a draft day stunner, A.J. Brown was shipped from Tennessee to Philadelphia. He'd appeared to be the long-awaited answer for Tennessee at receiver. And now he can be that same long-awaited answer in Philadelphia. 2,000-yard seasons and 24 touchdowns in his first three years in the league. He gets Philly the type of wide receiver one the team hasn't had in almost a decade.
He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue, just make sure you feed me the football? And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yard you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five mm. or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Okay, Five yards remain on second down. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. So first and 10 now from the 30. Hurt sets up to throw it. Open man has got it at the tight end. And he'll be brought down at the 27. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up from his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. From the 27, Hurts. And that's complete to Sanders. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. They'll buy some time right. And he's got it. And the Eagles are looking at first and goal as he's tackled good, all the way down. Good drive, good line. drive, good drive, good That's drive. That's a big league job there, getting out of the pocket, not panicking, and just buying himself some time. Then he made a good, accurate throw to set up first and goal. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. You think they took us to the fucking sign up? But they ride the fucking pictures everywhere around now. Like it, like it, Sanders is in oh, the end zone. Oh, that nigga was right there. It's a shit. Good touchdown. Good touchdown. Good touchdown. Finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch Ooh. on this drive as well. You gotta get this back, back, huh? To be in today's NFL, a complete you gotta get this back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Elliott good on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Oh, excuse me. Made for that. Out there, set ready for this next drive. The Washington offense. Their deficit is 11, 14 to 3, and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second and six, just inside the 30. Mm -hmm. Here's Hal to throw on second down. Mm. 
And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now how? Oh, nigga, to mm -hmm. the screen, but that almost disaster as it falls incomplete. Very nearly a turnover. But it's fourth down. Nigga, right that next guy. Press way on fourth down is sent out to punt. He was only asked to punt once in the Terrible. victory last week as he sends this one away. It's taken to the 26. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Now, sometimes those punt returns can yield some unnecessary roughness penalty. Now, I know a lot of guys, when they run a long way to execute a block or make a hit, yeah, you touch him, 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 you touch Sanders here as they run out of the gun. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdle it through him. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck when you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive to keep coordinator, going. I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae mm -hmm. Smith. And out of bounds, right around out the bounds. That was crazy. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Now that's a mound of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more yeah, than that. Up, this guy's down. nimble and quick. More down. than a space eater. He just made a great play there. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. This will be a 37-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good, and they will stretch the lead down to 17 to three. So three points there, and they continue to build. And by the spank this game, yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Buggies. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, mm. that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. You ain't taking my heart for that in the bigger play. No, sweet moves. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Charles, he doesn't seem to be particularly in tune with his receivers. Just two for seven throwing the football, but he did seem really locked in before the game. Yeah, and that has to do with receivers. He boxed him and cut. Sometimes the defenders knocked them off their routes. I got hard in my hot minute again lately. Balls out of his hands to the receiver. In this case, okay, it might be off by a half step either way. They've got to find a way to get back in sync. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Second catch for him today. You care about your pass, even if you were the host. You struggle on offense. You're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. 
Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. A give up the middle to Gibson. And he'll get the, the fuck out of here, bro. How the fuck he just jumped all the way out there, cuz? Second two is probably the best game tomorrow. Go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let it pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. This offense oh, finding its way. Look inside them big brown eyes. First and ten. On first down, right back to Gibson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. You can't but your pass down. even if he was a hoe. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and all the plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. The hardy does the work. From the 44, Howell eluding the pressure right. That is throw. I had my other nigga open card. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping Stevie would come open downfield, but they never did. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. What the fuck, Here's bro? What the, what the mess? Forced out to his left. Got his target, Samuel. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good. You bet your pass even if you look at him. Right into the two-minute warning. Oh, my goodness, bro. This stupid-ass controller. On first down, Hal. Flush to his right. And he rifles one incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Stop doing that. On second down, a run with Gibson. And he's going to take this down to about the 17. 43 yards. This drive is turning into this one. And the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. They'll run with Gibson. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. Al throwing on first down here. Looking and finding Thomas in the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Logan Thomas, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Commanders get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that slices the lead down to 17-10. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. They start on the ground here at Sanders. 
And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Here's second and seven now from the 28. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Well, that's a nice job right there. He's looking downfield, but with no one open, he takes off and tries to run for it. He gets to the sidelines and gets out of bounds with a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Looking for Sanders. Damn. And the defense loses him. It's complete. A big play there just before halftime. We see this happen so often. If you're a defender, it's like watching a bad movie over and over. The pressure is good, forcing the quarterback out of the pocket. But it's a lot to ask for these defenders to stay plastered to receivers long enough. And sure enough, they let a man come open, and the connection leads to a big play. After the big play, mm, chance okay. to finish now on first and goal. And they'll try to pound it in with Ricard. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Patrick Ricard as the first <laughs> half is winding down. And the Eagles will extend their lead here just before halftime. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead now up to 14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. They'll go play action. Howell. Buying time to his left. Looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Picked up by James Brandt. Mm. And now to the races, down the dumb shit, uh, and he takes this one back into the end zone and the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD so this defense doubling its pleasure there remember they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game and now this time the interception return for another score nice work uh, my Elliot work on the extra point and the lead now to three touchdowns at one So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone <laughs> for a touchback here. I'm try it for something, the Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. One second, all that remains. Oh, Hal loses it. oh my goodness! This will be recovered by the offense, but it will be of little importance now as time has expired here in this first half. Oh my ass, what? So I'm trying, man. Time here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here 
Roberts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Come Kenny Bottom. Start with a handoff to Sanders. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. Top of the bird. That's about the diamonds and pearl. Because oh my god. He gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three yard gain. Second down, back to Sanders. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Well, you certainly have to give them credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Throwing his hurts. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Two-yard punt, six on the return, and it will be Washington football now yeah, with a first and ten. The time is in peril. Excuse me, my girl. Yeah. Out there, set and ready for this Sorry. next drive. The Washington offense. They'll start on the ground with Gibson, and he's got Rome. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 66 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Only seven players crossed 1,000 yards rushing last season, and one of them was Gibson, who made a big jump forward in his second season. Entering his third campaign, he cemented himself as one of the building blocks for the Commanders. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Gibson again. Tackle there by Big Jordan Davis. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Fuck this time he'll throw it with Hal. Flushed out right. That one caught by Gibson. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. From the gun on third down, Howell escaping the pressure right. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. They'll run for it with Robinson. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. So they get the conversion on fourth, and now from the 25, they operate with a first and ten. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, partner, they certainly played up to their top ten defensive ranking this week. They've stifled this opposing offense throughout this game. This contest is now lopsided because of their efforts, and there's still a quarter to go. In the third quarter here in D.C., a second and ten upcoming. Al now to throw it. Off to Thomas on the left side. Down inside the 10, and he gets it all the way down inside the 10, and mark him at the 5. 
He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. You have to ask the question, where was the help? Because it's a little surprising to me that he'd find that much room to run this close to the end zone. He doesn't quite get there, but he sets his guys up with a first and goal. They'll run with Robinson. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. John Bates, his first rushing touchdown of the year. And the commanders are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. I'm going to slip up, Kyle. Washington kick team back we'll out there now up, as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Uh. Bah. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. On second and nine, Hurts. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. And it's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around him. Look, Teddy on my back like a motherfucking quarterback. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. You know, but school, but I thought my life was headed. You know, but the bird coming, that the bird and then I'm ready. But then the house is ready, and tell her that you're ready, ready. And they took it in the middle of the ground, that the bird is ready, ready. A nice connection there. And now they're going to get that first and go. And it's time to have a ready for him, and they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. And they're going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. That's a really little defense there, because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense. Countered it with extra line numbers, with both speed and heft. And they're going to get the ball. And able to really make a big time play for their defense. Yeah, I said it on my bed, I said it, I just said it away. On second and goal. Ah! A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. A misconnection there. He's not just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now he's going to be able to do the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old 50 percent would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it now with the short no way game, you should be above 60 percent just you to be in the average don't range understand. it's a cold cold world right on the narrow fast that's samuel caught left side they're able to hold him to three there and that leads to a fourth and goal I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them. Ah, oh, my fucking God. And he didn't get there. Knocked backwards to the two-yard line. Now we so get a stop my point, because, right? as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Mm -hmm. First and ten, it's Sanders. And he'll get 
this up past the five to the seven. Damn, I should just took my fucking ball. Credit to tackle the Percy. That's on me, cuz. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more. Damn. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We need to stop. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. The pitch comes to Sanders. And he will lose yardage here back to his own six. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And if the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Oh, he fucking caught that! No, he caught that. No. Still the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting better. Damn, bro. This one out quickly to Watkins. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Second and nine. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. To the left there and complete to the tight end Goddard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Hurts finding Goddard there. First down, Philadelphia. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second down. First and ten, it's Hurts. Eluding the pressure right. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. Montez Sweat, the third-year edge rusher, had five sacks in ten games in 2021, limited due to injuries, but still an impressive 21 sacks in his first three years in the NFL. Throwing on second and long. Hurts flush to his right. And he'll just get rid of it. How good has he been throwing the football, though? And despite that incompletion, that's just the third time he's been off target this entire game. And Brandon, I've been on the other side of this equation, trying to defend a guy who's been this hot, and it chips away at your confidence. And when you're not confident... Damn, he really play, caught that, though. It makes you slower to the football. Uh. At least to more completions for them. Going deep here for Watkins. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked by Kendall Fuller. That is the play they needed in a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. No doubt about it. They did what they had to do to give themselves a chance to get back into the game. They turned it over to the offense. They are now. Oh, Hal loses it. Oh, my goodness, Hal. But it looked like Washington got it back. And Stop indeed fucking they did. fumbling the ball, bro. Fortunate to get that football back. Because trailing oh here God, in the second half, last now. thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity. Because it could have been lost there. Their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Now they go play action with Hal. Throw right side taken in by Gibson. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Dang. Third and long. Here's Howell. And that's going to be incomplete. Oh, the contact crazy. there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. 
From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Damn, it's Nicole Dean with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Mm -hmm. uh, and the tough thing is when he goes back and reviews the film, he'll see that he already escaped the pocket. He could have gotten more himself by using his legs, and that might have been the better choice there instead of challenging the zone. A miscalculation on this one, and he pays for it with the interception. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. That went in other play. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Hurts throw taken in by Pascal. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Calling a gain of three on the play. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. They go play action with Hertz. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two. Dang. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. This to make it a three-score game late. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Dang. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, Two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. Now a throw here to his running back. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now left side on the swing pass. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten yards there, good for a Washington first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. It's Hal with another throw. Steps away to his left. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Should have stood up, but you I know. It's cool, though. Playing triangle with me. Powell. Flushed out right. Oh. Oh. Darius Slay with a pick. Dang. The Eagles are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, let's face it, Brandon. They're down here in the second half. 
want to try and make something happen. And if you're the guy with the ball in your hands, you're going to try even harder. Because I think all he was trying to do was to get outside the pocket and see if he can find a big play downfield. And some room to maneuver. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 82 yards rushing for him now as he has been Aye. tremendous all day long. That carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Wisely will throw that one away. They are certainly not letting up on the pressure in this one. And oftentimes you hear this expression, all gas, no break from defenses. But in this case, it's the offense still throwing the football up big in the fourth quarter. It's a second down run with Sanders. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 35. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. That one looks like he'll throw here. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Quez Watkins, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles are closing in on a third straight victory to start the campaign. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the lead is now 24. Mm. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You'd have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already mm. starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Throwing here, Howell. Uh, I'll do another, another fucking Anderson. Johnson Gardner Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Boy, Charles, you hate to see this for a rookie quarterback. You're hoping it doesn't shake his confidence, but that confidence, it might be shaken because that is four interceptions for him now in this ballgame. It has to be shaken. Wouldn't be human if you weren't. Doesn't matter whether you're a rookie or a veteran. Four interceptions, you're not sure what you're doing out there. So to me as a coaching staff, I would think very hard about getting him out and trying it again another day. And no, they can't connect on the pass. So that gets the clock down to 11. Time for probably two more plays. Got to go quickly, though. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Hurts. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They'll set up to throw. Birds fumbles it. And it's Washington that scoops it up. 
And that will write a finish to this ball game. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camp, your off season, but on game day, you both want to show your best, and I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for the Eagles, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. Dang. They'll return home next week to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Wow.